Dr. Stoop and I have been friends for um, decades, and uh, he's always uh, been there for me, that's for sure. And we've written books together, and we always joke uh, that while John and Henry were writing the book Boundaries, which has now sold approximately uh, 10 million books, that Dave and I, yeah, Boundaries, I mean, really. Uh, no one would have Boundaries here if, if it wasn't for them. Everybody would just be talking, mingling, and all that. But... Uh, and every, half the people would be divorced. So anyway, the, but Dave and I, while they were writing that masterpiece, we were writing the book, The Angry Man, uh, which sold 2,000 copies. So uh, we're, we're, we just do the best we can, but Dave's been such a, a great person to be friends with and a colleague. Uh, Dave, uh, share something about the, the program. Well, one of, one of the um, interesting things that happens, I believe, and it, it's related to what Joe was saying about connection, uh, is that we're very open and, and transparent as hosts, and uh, we aren't afraid to talk about where we've been, our own issues, things that we've struggled with over the years. And I think because of that, people who call in feel safe with us. It's not like we're up on some pedestal that doesn't understand where they are, uh, because we've talked about our stuff, you know. And uh, I, I just, uh, I had a blood infection about seven weeks ago, a very, very serious thing. And I was in the hospital five days, and then a day later, I'm out of the hospital, I had a fanny pack. I had a fanny pack on then with a IV pump. And uh, we're doing the radio, and the thing starts beeping. And uh, I, I don't know, it's, a, it's the first or second day I've had the thing. I don't know how to stop it from beeping. So we put it on the floor, and it keeps beeping. And we put a pillow on it, it's still beeping. <laughs> And so we talk about it, and I talk about what's going on. And the interesting thing is I picked my son up from the airport today. He was in Dallas at his, the company's main office. And the owner's wife says to him, he says, uh, she says, well, how's your father doing? And he said, he's telling her how I'm doing, but then he says, well, uh, how do you know about this? And she said, well, I heard about it on the radio. <laughs> so she listens to New Life, and, and uh, uh, you know, it, it's not just that kind of thing, but you know, Steve has set the pace on that, and all of us uh, follow through in that uh, we, we connect to our listeners by uh, being open and real with them and telling them, you know, if it's, if it's applicable, if it's appropriate, telling them where our struggle has been and what we have learned in that process and, and passing it on. And I think that's unique uh, in, in Christian radio. It's just unique in radio and in the media today is that uh, when you listen to New Life, you are, you are listening to uh, two of six people who share their lives and, and aren't afraid to talk about places where we've struggled. And that makes it a very safe place. So our listeners call in about all kinds of things. And you listen, so you know that. And, and they feel very safe, I think, in talking to us. And that's a big part of the safety.